guys welcome and welcome back so these are the jewelry pieces that i'll be using today minus the bottom row obviously those didn't fit they were way too narrow for my thick locks so i'll just be using the top ones so here are my locks starting off y'all know i always start by spraying moisturizing my locks with my oil and water mixture so just doing that here. Make sure I get the whole length of my locks and we massage it in just a little bit. This is the string that I'll be using. Just trying to see which color I'm gonna choose. I decided to go with the lighter tan color. And we're gonna go with this lock. So just starting off by measuring it. I realize I didn't show y'all how exactly I do that, like how exactly I measure it, but at some point I do when I um, do it to the next lock. But for now, this is what I'm doing. Crisscross all the way down. and then tie it off and then I cut it off camera then I'm gonna use this one I think this one's cute I like the design I think we're gonna put that one over here and basically I just do this <laughs> basically pick random locks and put whatever jewelry this one's really cute too I really like that one it's like leaves like a little branch of leaves as y'all could see i already put one on <gasps> um that i didn't get on camera but and then my tree of life put that one on too some of these clips are out of place as i was recording and deciding which locks i want to put where um my camera would die or it would overheat either or and then I would have to like take a break and start up again this is where I realized that this jewel was way too small and it kind of sucked because I really wanted to use that one but it's all right because I'm gonna use the end piece of it I'm gonna repurpose it put it that way I'm gonna repurpose it and y'all will see how I do that in a later video So I'm just continuing to put jewels everywhere, basically. Everywhere I feel like I want to have them. Um, yeah, I just kind of go crazy. That's a cool thing about these and locks in general. You could just, you're free to do whatever you want. Do whatever you want decorate them however you want it's your thing do what you want to do so this one I decided to put another um, string on and here's where I show you guys how I measure it so I kind of just align it that first length double it and then you're gonna triple it and I 
I realized that that was, I guess, the formula <laughs> to getting just the right length um, for the crisscross, tripling it. So that's my advice. Once that's cut, you realize after tripling it, it's just enough length to go down the length of your lock to the point that you want it and, you know, have it long enough to do the full crisscross. So. I'm just evening it out. And then, of course, when you get to the bottom, sorry, I didn't really show that too good, but I'm just doing the same thing, tying it off, cut it, and you're done. continuing to put random pieces wherever we see fit you can always move them around take some out add some in The only thing I realized after I finished recording this video and I was kind of like kicking myself I was like damn I didn't even put any cowrie shells and I wanted to put some um, but then I thought about it and I was just like eh, I got cowrie shells in my necklace so um, it's all right but I did eventually adding I did eventually end up adding some later because obviously I, I take that necklace off from time to time. So when I'm not wearing it, I do want to have shells in my locks, um, carry shells in my locks. So yeah, but that's the thing you can, again, add, take away, do whatever. This video, y'all, like in real time, it was like an hour long. <laughs> but that was me not adding, like not editing or anything like that. That was just like raw footage of me stopping, trying to decide which lock I wanna, you know, put it on, turning around, seeing what empty spaces I may have left or whatever, like just, just, doing all types of stuff so <laughs> the raw footage was like an hour um but obviously i was gonna um have y'all watch all of that <laughs> uh and here i'm just doing the same thing just doing the same thing trying to see where i want them And I'm really just having fun. That's the thing. Just fucking have fun. <laughs> that's what life is all about. Forget about locks. That's just, that's what life is all about. Just have fun. So 
use your locks use whatever i'm a creative so i just i just want to express myself and do that through whatever whatever medium as i said like this is a lock decorating video but apply that to life so anyway this is what we got so far and i think i'm i think i'm content i like them i like how they turn out as y'all could see i got a little hot <laughs> i had to take a breath um but yeah super cute fun you could even add like different colors to the string or different colored string you could really really go go crazy and by crazy i mean crazy in a good way i mean creative fun artsy crazy like do whatever the fuck you want like i, I can't stress that enough just have fun and this is it this is it guys I couldn't decide whether I wanted a side part or a middle part. I think I went with the middle part. I remember when I didn't, I never used to like middle parts with on me with locks. But then I came around. My husband was like, no, it looks cute. And then I started wearing them. I was just like, yeah, actually, he's right. They do look cute. Or it does look cute. As I say that, I flipped it to a side part. <laughs> But I kind of just like where the locks laid on a side part. Um, but yeah. This is it, guys. This is it. Cute, cute, cute. And that is it. Till next time. See you guys in the next one. Peace.